This week, we've been looking at how climate change is expected to impact San Diego. A report released this week by the San Diego Foundation looks ahead to 2050, and it sees trouble. Our Lauren Nancaro shows you how some scientists say climate change is killing people. There's a lot to like about San Diego. Exquisite sunsets, beaches, mountains, deserts, and clear, beautiful weather. It's little wonder so many of us choose to live here. And as our numbers increase, so will our collective age. In 2050, there'll be more old people living here, and it won't be easy for them. The main public health concerns that we have are an increase in heat-related illness and death, which disproportionately affect elderly persons. In 2050, one in four people living in San Diego will be elderly, and the weather will challenge their health. The hot, sunny days and episodes of high heat, these are perfect um, conditions for the formation of ozone. And we expect more days, more clear days, more hot days, and we expect more ozone to be formed. Air pollution is already killing Californians. As many as 15,000 people a year Climate change and demographic shifts will lead to an increase in suffering from lung disease and heart disease. Increased smog is the culprit. It affects uh, both respiratory and has uh, respiratory effects and cardiovascular effects. And so the people most at risk are again the elderly, children, and people with pre existing respiratory disease such as asthmatics. The average temperature in San Diego in 2050 could be four degrees warmer. Not much, but enough for longer mosquito breeding season. More mosquitoes, more illness. The one we're most familiar with right now is West Nile virus. So if conditions are more permissive for mosquitoes to um, live under more months of the year, so that right now the mosquito season is fairly brief, but under climate change, the mosquito season could be extended. Researchers believe rodent populations will continue to have boom and bust cycles, and following wet years, hantavirus will show up more often. I think it's very important that we start planning now, both to reduce the actual climate change that occurs through local and regional and international action. It's very important for public health. It also is important to begin the planning process for the increased demand in our medical services, such as emergency rooms. The study is designed as a call to action. The San Diego Foundation believes that by understanding the local impacts of climate change, we can expect our local leaders to take actions which mitigate the worst of them. Lauren Nancaro, 10 News. And, of course, you can see all of Lauren's stories if you missed them on our website at 10news.com. For now, he joins us from Crown Point with all those people doing lots and lots of walking today, huh? Hi, Steve and Angel. I would also urge people to go to 10news.com and link to the San Diego Foundation the entire study. It's, it's a healthy amount of reading, like 80 pages, but it'll show you what changes will happen locally in several different areas uh, between now and 2050, looking over the next 40 years. It really is an important reading for everyone who lives here.